Yeah, well, unfortunately, there's really not much uh, way around diet and exercise that really does uh, help determine what your BMI is going to be. So um, I'm really into the produce, like uh, Dr. Rory, right? <laughs> <laughs> like she's yeah, mentioned, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dr. Roy. Okay, yeah. So I'm I'm very much a big believer in produce and very much colorful vegetables. The more in your diet, the better. And shooting for you know around 35 to 40 grams of fiber a day is one of the most important things for satiety and keeping your blood sugar stable. So a plant-based diet or at least a plant predominant diet is very healthy and uh, can promote long-term weight success and longevity. And then there's really no getting around the exercise component. So trying to get a regular cardio and strength training regimen going, try to find a friend that you can take with you to the gym and make sure you're staying active. And speaking of exercise, I was gonna ask maybe you about, is there any efficacy of uh, Kegels for prostate health? Um, it was certainly after surgery, it, it can be useful. Men leak urine after surgery. Oh yeah, that's a very good, yeah. So uh, the, Kegel was a gynecologist in Los Angeles in the 1950s who uh, noticed that some of the women he had delivered uh, babies uh, from had uh, incontinence afterwards, fairly common problem. Dr. Capilli's in the back there, he can attest to that. So he devised an exercise which is a, a pelvic floor contraction exercise. Um, and it, it, the way I instruct men to do it is if you were urinating and wanted to stop your stream without grabbing hold of your penis, there's a muscle on the inside you can tighten. It's hard to kind of define exactly where that is, but most people understand that, that description. So that squeezing of that muscle is the Kegel exercise. It tightens the pelvic floor. Um, it's not specifically the muscle that holds the urine on a regular basis because we don't go around volitionally holding our urine. It just seems to happen. But if you tighten the muscle there. It seems that it does help uh, with the uh, the passive muscle that helps support that so it works better. And that's a, an exercise we'll have men start to do before surgery to, and after surgery to help them regain their, their urinary control. Whether it helps for prostate health before that, I'm not sure that there's great um, there's great data for that. I, they're, they're free and relatively easy to do. I don't see any downside to doing them. I think if we exercise the rest of our body, that's a part we tend not to do. So I, I'm a believer in, in having people do Kegel exercises. And we all could be in the room doing them right now and nobody would know. It was recently published about the role of Kegel exercises in men with urinary urgency and urgent continence where if you are getting that, and, I, and this is kind of an appropriate crop, particularly if you've had radiation therapy for prostate cancer, there's usually a little bit more irritative urinary symptoms. So if you have urgency or leak urine with that urge, when you get that sudden sense of the urge on some rapid fire Kegels, you know, six or seven rapid fire Kegels right in a row can actually negatively in, or just negatively impact your bladder or shut down that urge complex so that your bladder will then go back into a relaxation mode. So rapid fire Kegels can actually be a, it works, there we go. So we're even a testimony yes. <laughs> that that theory works. Um, and uh, you know, and I honestly didn't think that there was any benefit to that up until recently, but uh, so now I'm a, a true believer and now I'm a real believer. Mm -hmm.